Today, we are going to discuss the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. So, rule of number 2. If it is even in the ones place, or 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, it is divisible by 2. Next, divisibility rules for 5. If it ends with a 0 or 5. It means that if the number ends with 0 or 5, then it is divisible by 5. And if the number ends with a 0, then it is, or that number, is divisible by 10. Okay, so let us remember ha huh? the rules for divisibility of 2 5 and 10 for 2 it ends with a with an even number 0 2 4 6 and 8 and for 5 it ends with a 0 or 5 and for 10 it ends with a 0 Okay, let's try these numbers. Okay, number 486 divisible by 2. So, question mark. So, let's find out if it is divisible by 2. Okay, the rules for 2, divisibility rule for 2 is if the number ends with an even number. And this number 6 is an even number right so therefore 486 is divisible by 2 so this is yes it is divisible by 2 next 728 divisible by 5 okay let's find out if this number is divisible by 5 so, the rule for divisibility of 5 is if it ends with a 0 or 5. Now, let's go back to 728. It ends with 8, an even number. It does not end with a 0 or a 5. So, therefore, 728 is not divisible by 5. So, this is no not divisible by 5 because it is not 0 or 5 okay next number we have 310 is it divisible by 10 so the rules for 10 or divisibility rule for 10 is if it ends with a 0 then now 310 ends with a zero so therefore 310 is divisible by 10 understood okay so this is a yes okay next number 460 is it divisible by 5 okay the rule for f the rule for 5 is if it ends with a 0 or a 5 and 460 it ends with a 0 so therefore 460 is divisible by 5 this is yes okay next number 267 267 is divisible by 2 is it a yes or a no? So the rule for 2 is it must end with an even number or number with a pair like 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. 
and 7 is not an even number. It is an odd number. Therefore, 267 is not divisible by 2. So, this is a big no. Not divisible by 2. Okay, another example. Okay, first number. We have 784. Is it divisible by 2? 784 ends with an even number or an odd number? Okay, yes, it is an even number, a 4. So, therefore, 784 is divisible by 2. This is a yes. Okay, next number, 200. A 200 daw is divisible by 5. Okay, let's, let's find out. 200 ends with a 0. And the rule for divisibility of 5 is that it must end with a 0 or a 5. And 200 ends with a 0. So, therefore, 200 is divisible by 5. This is also a yes. Next, 312. Is it 312 divisible by 5? So, the rule, for, the rule for 5 is 0 and 5. It ends with a 0 or 5. And 312 ends with a 2 or an even number. So, therefore, it is not divisible by 5. But it is divisible by 2. So, this is a no. Not divisible by 5. Second to the last. 311. 311 divisible by 10. Is it divisible by 10? Okay. The rule for divisibility of 10 is that the number must end with a 0. It will end with a 0. And 311 is, does not end with a 0. So therefore, 311 is not divisible by 10. So, it is a no, not divisible by 10. And last but not the least, 530. Is 530 divisible by 10? Okay, again, the rule for 10 is that it must end with a 0. The number must end with a 0. And 530 ends with a 0. So, therefore, 530 is divisible by 10. Is It is a yes. Okay, this time, do you understand now how to identify the number basing on the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10? Okay, to find out, just Remember the rules so that you can answer for the next activity. Okay, thank you for listening. Bye!